Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is a reading for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node for the week of February 14th to the 18th. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you're using that link as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, your overall energy, Capricorn, is the star. Hmm, very interesting. So you have the sun, the ace of swords, the four of stars, and the wanderer. So, ooh, a lot of mm, internal healing here. Very much deep healing. You're looking at truth within you what have you been hanging on to you're looking at that you're looking at your dreams your wishes what what needs to be cut away i feel you're being truthful with yourself in places that you haven't before But I feel that in, in digging for this truth and being truthful with yourself, it's gaining clarity. You're gaining the clarity you need to open up to your happiness here, to let go and open up and allow. So tell me about the star, the king of stars, the ace of wands, stars are pentacles and uh, moons are cups and the devil, there you are. Yeah, you're wanting this new beginning, this, this excitement, this passion with the Ace of Wands here. Could be with the uh, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why the devil? Yeah, you have some fears surrounding this new beginning. Why? Yeah, this is a new beginning in love. You could be afraid to open up your heart here. And this is where that sort of truth comes in here. Okay, so feelings of lack. Where you've been feeling this lack mentality. Your mm, toil and labor. This could be surrounding money, surrounding work. Whoa. Yeah. And, you know, how that relates to your path, though. Fears are holding, your back, are holding you back from stepping on your path. And you're going to need strength. You're going to need that lion strength that uh, this full moon is in Leo, right? And it will illuminate your heart. Interesting, because the full moon is in Leo. And you have the sun here, which is also a Leo card. And you have strength, which is Leo. So it's... It's this, you know, I'm hearing triple threat. And if you allow this full moon to take you there, you can actually be that triple threat coming from your heart in a very loving way, in a very mm, vulnerable way. But it's, it's very much a strength to propel you forward and get you exactly where you want to go. Hmm, very interesting energy here. All right, so tell me about the sun. Yeah, three of wands. So it's opening, it's opening yourself up, opening up your heart space, opening up your aura, and allowing the sun in, allowing that light in on your heart space, king of moons. Seven of Swords, no longer lying to yourself here, no longer 
leaving things out with the seven of swords swords are about communication and the ace of swords is about truth so you're no longer running from the truth you're no longer going to be running from and i don't feel it's just one truth i feel it's a multitude of truths so we have the privileged lady here and expectation yeah so it's what you've been waiting for Okay, somebody could actually be waiting for you with the expectation and privileged lady. It doesn't have to be a female and a female, but it is a feminine energy. So if it's a male, it's a male in their feminine energy. So tell me about the Ace of Swords. What is the truth that you're finding here? The Queen of Wands. Ah, where your passion lies. The Emperor. Hmm. I feel like you're connecting with the Emperor within you as well. King of King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Wow. You're igniting your passion for life. You're igniting. You're lighting your own fire here, Capricorn. And this is really going to push you forward. You're connecting with the Emperor within you. Emperor or Empress within you. But I feel... Whether you're male or female, it, it doesn't matter. I feel you're connecting with that passionate masculine energy to make the decision with the King of Swords to go forward quickly with whatever it is you're passionate about with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Yep. So this has to do with a love situation because the eight of wands here is the eight hours of love. So there could be somebody at a distance with the three of wands and the eight of wands. Okay. Could be, could be any sign, but there is a strong connection. There is a knowing there is, there's a healing over something within your heart. Tell me about the four of stars. The seven of moons, the fool. You're letting go. You're letting something go. Something you've been hanging on to. The ace of uh, pentacles here. You're no longer in this illusory phase because the full moon that's coming this week is, is spotlighting what's been an illusion. What you've been hiding from yourself, you will have this clarity and you will take a leap of faith somewhere. Now, this could be somebody taking a leap of faith on you, but there is uh, love here. Hmm. Thoughts. Yeah, you're doing a lot, a lot, a lot of thinking and a lot of opening up to yourself, opening up to yourself. So clarifying the Wanderer is the Ten of Moons, which is the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Moons, Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Moons. Yeah, wow. You're, I, I feel like I want to say finally, you're finally connecting with your heart space. You're on a, on a level that you haven't before. Your intuition, your creativity, your emotional fulfillment, you're discovering and admitting to yourself what it is that you want. You're no longer running from this from this with the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Community. House. So you're looking at your stability and what what makes you happy? The people that you are surrounded by? What kind of community that you're wishing to have? You may also be looking at if it was a fear about what other people thought. I feel like you're ridding yourself of this with community and house. You're stabilizing this emotion here. Hmm. So what is your advice here, Capricorn? The Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, yeah, and Judgment. Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, okay? Be aware of people around you that are emo emotionally manipulative, mentally manipulative with the Five of Swords. Look within and shine a light on yourself, which is what you're going to do. Rebirth yourself and walk away from battles that just aren't worth it. Thank you. 
commit. Okay, balance your masculine and feminine energies and look at commitment because Page of Swords is sort of researching, looking within, right? Look at this commitment. A commitment to yourself, a commitment to others on all levels, Capricorn. All right, so let's get you an angel card. Very powerful full moon uh, that's coming up this week. That's what I'm feeling. So I have an angel number. Eight. I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight represents the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation, right? So you have what it takes to be anybody you want to be. All right, Capricorn, I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you're using that link uh, as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.